Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we are going to benchmark Convex, the self-hosted version against the Convex uh, Cloud Free tire, so we can see if the self-hosted option is good or if it can host your uh, applications faster and reliable. And uh, if you don't know, Convex is a reactive database. This is their website. They're offering a free plan also that can be used. And in here you have uh, some uh, free function calls and the bandwidth that can be used. I have a website that I've uh, built basically. The website is called bitbodies.me. And in this website, I am using Convex with Tanstar stack. And in here I have some courses, free courses that uh, anyone can uh, check. And I have some workshop and uh, some YouTube videos that uh, I like and also I have some AI tools. So basically I have uh, installed uh, this uh, on a self-hosted domain. So basically if you are going to check in here, you see that I have sh-converse.bitbodies.me that is the same thing with the main one. But the difference is that this one, it goes to my convex installations that I did in the previous video. And uh, it's using that for the backend. And uh, for testing, I have used OHA. So basically, OHA is a load testing tool that can help you send multiple requests and they are analyzing the response time and they are creating nice, nice graphics. We are going to see this live. So I've created an article in here with all of these tests. I did them yesterday. So basically I did four tests. And in here I did a test where I've only used the self-hosted with no CDN from Cloudflare. So basically I'm using Cloudflare as a CDN and I'm proxying everything to Cloudflare. So if you're not going to use any CDN for your uh, website, you will have uh, about one second with the average response time. If you're going to proxy everything, basically backend and frontend through Cloudflare, it's not recommended to proxy the uh, backend the Cloudflare self-hosted to Cloudflare, but I just wanted to test it and see how it does. And it was very fast. But again, you have some errors. This is just for testing. The best options it will be only to cache the website front end and let backend uh, not cache through Cloudflare like this. And in here I've had like uh, about 0 0.63 seconds. And uh, this is the Cloud uh, Convex options, the free options. And in here you see that it's about two seconds for the average response. So it's quite high and uh, yeah, it's quite a noticeable difference. And what I did to benchmark this, I've used OHA and I've sent it about 1000 requests in here with uh, the concurrent request 550 requests per second. Basically, this is the command that I've used. And in here I measured some of the things. So besides the fact that uh, Crossfire is good for CDN and it has great speed, the other thing that uh, it's good is the fact that Crossfire is also decreasing the size of the application. So in here you see, for instance, when you are not using any CDN, you will have the total data that is transferred. It's about 125 megabytes with uh, a verge size of uh, about six megabytes. This is with no CDN. And when we are activating the CDN, you will see a big decrease. You see that you will only have 14 megabytes of data for everything and only 736 kilobytes for the average size. I've also created a table in here that can be checked. So you see that this is quite uh, important decrease when you are using Cloudflare, which is not only the CDN. So right now let's go and test this uh, thing. So the first test that we are going to do is to test the convex installations that I have. So this is the free tire of convex. And in here I have uh, I will run it. I already run it in the past. And right now this thing it's it's going and it's testing. You see you have some nice graphs in here. And uh, again you see that the average load time it's about one second and a half so in case you have a lot of requests you will have a not that great response time so this is happening because the convex is pinged it's pinged all the time and when you are trying to fetch the data it will go to convex and fetch the data and in here you see on the graph that you have uh, this uh, 
things and you see that the most uh, requests are over one second. So yeah, this is what the convex free tire did. And right now let's test uh, the self-hosted option. And let me go and copy the website. And in here, I will do the same test. I will just go and add this in there. And right now this is only caching the front end, not the back end, because I don't want to have errors. I don't cache the convex uh, back end in here because yeah, Cloudflare will try to just go and cache everything for you. And in here, for instance, we see that uh, the most of the requests this time it's under one second. So you see in here that the very response time it's 0 0.6 seconds, which is pretty fast. And uh, you see that most of the requests again are under one second. So our self-hosted convex, it does a lot better, three times better than the one that we are seeing in the convex free tire. So yeah, I mean, using convex in a self-hosted server, it can uh, increase the performance if you are using the free tire of convex. So I hope this helped you understand uh, the difference and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, in case you like what we have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe.